Hi everyone, it's me Olya here. You're welcome to my channel. You can tell my voice is not completely back, but I just couldn't wait. I wanted to film this video. So today in this video, we are going to learn 240 new Ukrainian adjectives. Uh, in my previous videos, I have given you 150, I think, of uh, the adjectives that you could apply to people. Now this one is going to be more universal. You can uh, apply these to people, to uh, inanimate objects, to abstract ideas, etc. So buckle up because that is going to be quite a long journey. Uh, now also I would like to remind you that if you enjoy my content and would like to support it financially, you can do that on Patreon. Also, with all my patrons, I share uh, the materials that I'm using in my videos, so you can become my patron and download every presentation or a text version of my video. Uh, so th these are available for all my patrons. The link to my patron I will leave down below, as well as the links to my other social media. And now before we start learning, I would like to also ask you a small thing. So if you are watching this video, if you enjoy my content, if you would like this um, channel to be going, I'm asking you to write a comment under this video. Uh, just write anything, write uh, why are you learning Ukrainian, what is the toughest part about learning Ukrainian, what is the easiest, what is the reason you are learning, what do you like about my channel, or what do you dislike, where I can improve. Or maybe if you don't have thoughts like that, maybe just write where are you from and what is your mother tongue, because I would like to know as well. The thing is that um, for some reason the YouTube algorithm is considering my channel dead. Uh, so you really, really, really need to search well to find my videos. So we can tell YouTube that my channel is still breathing and is working. I, as a content creator, was never after views. You know, I'm working for several years uh, on my videos and I'm working hard on them. And I'm feeling happy if uh, my video gets like 1000 views. That's a good result for me. And the way I explained it to myself was that Ukrainian is not really a very popular language. So there aren't many learners. That's why there aren't many views. And that is how I didn't feel discouraged until yesterday when I started searching for um, one of my videos from another person's device. And then I saw that my video was the last in the list of recommendations and uh, my wonderful colleagues who are also uh, filming videos on the same topics, they are getting much more views. So it's not about the language, it's about the algorithm. So if it's not hard for you, I would really appreciate a comment from you. And now we can finally start learning. Here, yes, traditionally, I'm taking a moment to thank all of the patrons who are supporting me uh, on Patreon, who are supporting my channel. Here are some of them. So thank you very much. Your support is truly appreciated. Now, the first one uh, I'm going to talk about is an adjective. Spravzhny. Spravzhny. Spravzhny means real or true. Okay, uh, so for instance, there used to be a cartoon when I was growing up, it was called Real Monsters. Uh, and in Ukrainian, it went like Spravzhny Monstre. Okay, a true monster, a real monster. Spravzhny Monster. Spravzhny Monster. You can also say Spravzhny Drug, and that would mean a true friend, or a real friend. Spravzhny Drug. Spravzhny. Spravzhny. Next one is sort of opposite to Spravzhny. It is fake. Falshivy. 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 Uh, Falshivy means fake. You can say a Falshivy passport, a fake passport, or Falshivy document, fake document, or Falshivy groshi, fake money, or also Falshiva posmishka. The untrue, you know, the fake smile. Falshiva posmishka. So, spravzhny means real, true, and opposite is falshivy. Or you can just say ne spravzhny, not real. Spravzhny, falshivy. Okay, next is polamany. 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 Polamany means broken. Uh, for instance, polamany hodinnik, a broken watch. 
Поламана ручка – a broken pen. Поламана дружба – broken friendship. Поламаний – поламаний, поламаний. Next is швидкий. Швидкий, швидкий. Швидкий means fast or quick. Uh, for instance, швидке рішення. Швидке рішення – quick decision. Швидка реакція – Quick reaction. Швидка реакція. Швидкий. Швидкий means fast or quick. Opposite to it is повільний. 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 Повільний means slow. For instance, повільний рух. Slow motion or slow move. Повільний танець. Slow dance. Повільний. 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 Next is смачний. Смачний. Смачний means tasty or delicious. Uh, for instance, смачна їжа. Смачна їжа. Delicious food. Смачний салат. Delicious salad. Okay? Opposite to it um, is just не смачний. Не смачний. Okay? Not delicious. Not tasty. Смачний. Смачний. Next, number seven, гарячий. Гарячий. Гарячий means hot. For instance, гаряча кава, hot coffee. Or a гарячий душ, hot shower. Гарячий душ. Гарячий. Гарячий means hot. Next, warm means теплий. 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 For instance, тепла вода, warm water. Or тепле літо, warm summer. Теплий. Теплий. Next, opposite to теплий or гарячий. Холодний. 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 For instance, холодний душ, cold shower. Холодний місяць, cold month. Or you can add prefix pro to the word холодний. You will have прохолодний, прохолодний, and it will mean chilly. For instance, прохолодний день, a chilly day. Прохолодна погода, a chilly weather. Okay? Холодний, cold, прохолодний, chilly. Next, чудовий. Чудовий. Чудовий means wonderful or great. Uh, so you can spice up your vocabulary instead of saying good or like very good, хороший, дуже хороший. You can say чудовий. Uh, for instance, чудовий настрій, a wonderful mood. Чудовий comes from the word чудо. Чудо. Чудо means miracle or wonder, okay? So чудовий means wonderful or great. Wonderful world, чудовий світ, or a wonderful idea or great idea, чудова ідея, okay, something better than good, something um, better than хороший, just хороший, okay, чудовий, чудовий, very good, wonderful, great. And next, значний, значний, значний means considerable. For instance, значний вплив, a considerable influence. Or, uh, for instance, щось значне. Щось значне, something considerable. Значний, значний, значний. Значний внесок, considerable input. Значний. Next, моральний. Моральний, easy to guess, means moral. For instance, моральний стан, moral condition, or моральна річ. Uh, that's a very moral thing. Це дуже моральна річ. Uh, моральний вчинок, a moral uh, action. And opposite to it is immoral, аморальний. Аморальний. Аморальний вчинок, immoral action. А моральна людина – immoral person. So, моральний – moral, immoral – аморальний. Аморальний. Next – науковий. Науковий. Науковий comes from the noun наука, means science. So, науковий as an adjective means scientific. For instance, науковий факт – a scientific fact. 
or a naukowa problema, a scientific problem or scientific matter. Naukowy. Naukowy. Next, bajduży. Bajduży means careless or indifferent. Uh, for instance, bajduży pohľad, a careless uh, look. Uh, or um, bajduży syn, a careless, indifferent son. Or careless whisper. Uh, bajduży szepit. Szepit means whisper. Okay? Bajduży. Bajduży. Next, kolorowy. Kolorowy. Kolorowy comes from the uh, noun color. Kolir. And means colorful. Kolorowy odiach. Colorful clothing. Kolorowy kilim. A, a colorful rug or carpet. Okay. Kolorowy. Kolorowy. From kolir, color. Next. Prozory. 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 Prozory means transparent. Uh, for instance, prozora voda, transparent water. Or, um, abstractly, we can say prozora politica, a transparent policy. Prozora politica. Prozory. Prozory means transparent. Next, jaskravy. Jaskravy, bright. For instance, jaskravy kolir, a bright color. Or, jaskravy sweater. Bright sweater. Okay, and pay attention that in English sometimes we can uh, say that somebody is bright uh, to say that they are smart. Uh, in Ukrainian we don't say that. We don't say jaskravy and we don't mean smart. However, we can say jaskrava osobistist, a bright personality. Uh, so, and that would mean a personality with very distinct expressive features. Okay, um, jaskrava osobistist. But that's not to say that they are smart necessarily. Okay, jaskravy. Jaskravy means bright. Next, temny. Temny. Temny means dark. For instance, temna nich, dark night. Temny kolir, dark color. Temna kimnata, dark room, etc. Okay, temny, temny. And opposite to it is sweetly. Sweetly. Sweetly means light. For instance, sweetly corridor, light hall. Or sweetla kimnata, light um, room. We can also say sweetla osobistist, uh, a light personality. To say that somebody is very um, cheerful and lively and is kind and is a good person. To say that somebody's personality is nice, sweet, uh, soft, uh, light. We can say svitla ljudina or svitla osobistist. Next, štučni. Štučni means artificial. Štučni, for instance, štučni intellect, artificial intelligence, or štučna kvitka, artificial flower, etc. Štučni. Štučni means artificial. Štučni. Next, ekologični. Ekologiczny. Ekologiczny, easy to guess. Ecological, for instance, ekologiczne seredowyszcze. Ecological environment. Seredowyszcze means environment. Okay? So, ekologiczne seredowyszcze or ekologiczny stan, ecological condition. Ekologiczny. Ekologiczny. Ecological. Next, huczny. 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 Huczny means loud. Okay, uh, we can have a huczny zvuk, loud sound, huczna muzyka, loud music. Uh, also, to say loud speakers, in Ukrainian we would say hucznomowic, hucznomowic, right? So, something that speaks loudly, that makes your voice louder than it is. Huczny, huczny. Opposite is tychy, tychy. Tychy means quiet, for instance, tychy spiv, quiet singing, or tychy holos, quiet uh, voice, or tycha rozmowa, quiet conversation. Tychy, tychy. Next, tradycyjny, tradycyjny, tradycyjny means traditional, comes from the word tradycja, tradition, 
So традиційний means traditional. For instance, mm, традиційний одяг. Традиційний одяг, traditional clothing. Or uh, many people nowadays are bringing up the topic of uh, traditional values. Uh, традиційні цінності. Цінність means value. Okay, so traditional values, традиційні цінності. Традиційний means traditional. Next, бриткий. Бриткий. We say бриткий about something that's hideous, nasty, something that's... Uh, Something that makes us feel um, disgusting. Uh, so, for instance, britki sweater, ugly sweater, hideous sweater. Britka uh, ljudina, ugly person, ugly personality, okay? Britki. Also, you can say disgusting, disgusting person. Britka ljudina. Next, potvorni, 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 potvorni. That's a very mean thing to say about somebody or something uh, and it is more it has to do more with appearance okay uh, for instance uh, potvorna suknya an ugly dress or potvorne javeshche an ugly phenomena potvorny budinok an ugly house okay potvorny potvorny so britki is something that makes us feel disgusting something that we don't want to be around and potvorny means ugly Opposite to beautiful. Potvorny. Uh, krasivy. Krasivy. Krasivy means beautiful. For instance, krasivy budinok. Beautiful house. Uh, krasiva rodina. Beautiful family. Miski means city. Not as a noun, but as an adjective. Comes from misto. Misto is a noun that means city. But an adjective would be miskei, miskei. For instance, miska ploscha, a city square, uh, miska škola, a city school, uh, miskei holova, mayor, the head of the town, okay, the main person of the town, miskei holova. Next, silskei. Silsky is an adjective that means village. Uh, for instance, silsky učitel, a village teacher. Or silsky magazin, a village shop. Silsky, miski city and silsky village. Next one is zahalny. 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 Zahalny means common, general, a global. Mm. For instance, zahalny analiz, a global analysis or general analysis. Um, zahalny plan, zahalny plan or zahalny zbory, zahalny zbory. Zbory means meeting, so zahalny zbory means meeting where everybody is going to be present, meeting for everyone, global, the general mm, meeting. So zahalny Zahalny. Zahalny means common, general, or global. Mm. Or universal, for instance. Zahalne pravilo. Universal rule. Zahalne pravilo. A rule that is working for everybody. Zahalny. Zahalny. Next, konkretny. Opposite to zahalny. Konkretny. Konkretny means specific, particular. Konkretny. For instance, konkretna situacja, a specific situation or this particular situation. Uh, konkretna data, um, specific date. Konkretna data. Konkretny means um, specific and is opposite to zahalny, which means common. General. Next one is harny. Harny. Harny means pretty or nice. Uh, for instance, harna dziewczyna means pretty girl. Harna zinka, pretty woman. Uh, so when we talk about appearance, we say pretty. But when we describe an abstract thing such as day, we would mean nice, right? Harny den, nice day. Harnoho dnia, have a nice day. Harny nastri. A nice or good mood. Harny nastri. So harny again either means pretty when we talk about appearance or nice, good, 
uh, when we talk about something that doesn't have appearance, which is an abstract thing. Harney, Harney. Next, Vashkei, Vashkei, Vashkei. Vashkei means heavy, hard. Uh, for instance, Vashka Korobka, a heavy box. But Vashke Zavdanya, a hard task or a hard assignment. Okay. Next is opposite to Vashke and is Lehke. Lehke. Lehke means light or easy. For instance, Lehka um, Tkanina means light fabric uh, or um, Lehka Sumka, a light handbag. Okay, but lehka vprava means easy um, exercise. Lehke zavdanya, easy task or easy assignment. So again, vashke means heavy or hard and lehke means light or easy. Next one is zaležnej. Zaležnej. Zaležnej comes from the verb zaležati, to depend on something. So, zaležnej means somebody or something that's dependent. Zaležnej, dependent. Zaležnej. For instance, zaležne stanovišče, a dependent um, state or dependent condition. Or, for instance, zaležna krajina. Zaležna krajina, a dependent country. The opposite to it would be independent. Nezaležnej. Nezaležnej. So recently we celebrated Den Nezaležnosti, Independence Day here in Ukraine. Okay? Nezaležnost means independence. Nezaležnej means independent. But zaležnej means dependent. Zaležnej. Zaležnej. Next, um, let's talk about different flavors. Um, for difference, vanilne, vanilne, vanilne means vanilla, uh, vanilne tort, for instance, vanilla cake, or um, vanilne tistečko again, vanilla cake, or uh, vanilne morozevo, um, vanilla ice cream, etc. Uh, next is šokoladne, šokoladne, šokoladne krem, for instance. Um, chocolate cream or um, chocolate morozevo, chocolate um, ice cream, uh, polunichny, polunichny, polunichny comes from polunica, strawberry, so polunichny as an adjective would be strawberry, for instance, polunichny seek, a strawberry juice, or strawberry a jam, um, polunichne varenia, polunichne varenia, polunichne means strawberry. Next, kavovy, kavovy, kavovy means coffee, comes from kava, which means coffee, as a noun, but as an um, adjective, it's kavovy, kavovy, for instance, kavovy smak, a coffee a flavor, or a coffee taste. Mm -hmm. Or, for instance, kavovy um, zapach, a coffee smell, etc. Kavovy. Uh, next one is uh, vegetarian. Vegetarian means vegetarianski. 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 Uh, for instance, vegetarianska strava, vegetarian dish. Or vegetarianski soup, vegetarian um, soup. Or a vegetarian restaurant, um, vegetarianski restaurant, vehanski, vehanski means vegan. Now, for instance, vehanski magazine, um, vegan store, no vegan shop, or um, vehanska pizza, vegan pizza, vehanski, vehanski. Next, ovocevi, ovocevi means vegetable. Uh, for instance, ovocevi salad, vegetable salad, or ovocevi rynok, uh, vegetable market, a place where veggies are sold. Ovocevi, ovocevi. Next, fruktovi, fruktovi, fruktovi. Uh, for instance, a fruktovi sik, mm, a fruit juice, or a fruktovi tort, um, fruit cake. Next, jahidny. Yahidni. Yahidni means berry. Comes from Yahoda. Yahoda 
means berry as a noun, but as an adjective, yahidny, yahidny. Uh, for instance, yahidny perich, berry pie, or yahidny chai, berry tea. Uh, next, solotky, solotky, solotky means sweet. Here we can also mean it figuratively or literally. Uh, for instance, solotky tort will mean sweet pie or solotky chai sweet tea, but we can also say solotki spohat, sweet memory. Solotki spohat, sweet memory. Spohat means memory. Again, solotki means sweet. Solotki. Next, opposite to solotki is hirkei. 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 Hirkei means bitter. For instance, again, literally we can say hirka kava, bitter coffee. Or hirka um, strava, a bitter dish. But we can also say hirkei dosvit. Hirkei dosvit, bitter experience. Okay? So pay attention here, we, there is a really difference. In English, when we say that a person is bitter, uh, we mean that the person is mean or like angry uh, and things like that. But when we say hirkei dosvit or hirkei spohat, we rather mean something um, that makes us sad, something bad that we used to experience, okay? We don't really say hirka ludena, a bitter person, meaning that the person is mean or that they are angry or mad, etc. Okay? So hirkei, hirkei, hirkei can either literally mean bitter or something bad something negative figuratively talking okay next kisli 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 means sour for instance kisli borscht sour borscht ukrainian dish borscht i think everybody knows that who is watching this video at least right borscht that's the literal meaning sour but also we can say sour face kisle oblicha a face expression that is saying, I'm unhappy with what is going on. I'm unpleased, okay? Kisle oblicha, unsatisfied. Okay, kisle oblicha, a sour face. So, kisle, kisle, you see how many um, Ukrainian adjectives, just like in English, can have a literal and figurative meaning. But it's important to... to learn the nuance and to not project everything directly from English because there is difference. Well, that's why English and Ukrainian are different languages. Next one is hostry. Hostry. Hostry means sharp. And here again, we can use it literally to say sharp knife, hostry niche, or hostry match. Um, sharp uh, sword but also we can use it figuratively to say hostry rosum sharp mind sharp brain to say that somebody is witty somebody is very sharp minded okay also we can say figuratively again hostre slovo a sharp word you know uh, the kind of um mean thing to say. The word that is able to cut, you know, the word that is able to injure your feelings, to hurt your feelings. Hostre slovo, a hurtful word, okay? So hostre can either mean literally sharp or when we talk about mind, about brain, it can use, it can mean sharp mind figuratively or it can also say mean hurtful when we talk about word hostre slovo okay hostri hostri sharp or mean next is to pay to pay to pay opposite to sharp obtuse i don't know i'm not sure about uh, the translation of it so that's opposite to sharp so we literally can say to pay niche it doesn't cut it doesn't work to pay niche obtuse knife and also to pay means dumb okay for instance to pa ludina a dumb person to pay zapetania a dumb question okay to pay 
to pay either means not sharp or dump to pay next mali ma li mali uh, means small for instance mali chlopets a small boy mala kimnata small room mali budinok a small house and if we have something teeny tiny we can say krihitny 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 comes from the word krihta krihta a very small piece a crumb okay chlibna krihta bread crumb Krihitny, teeny tiny. For instance, krihitny um, nis, a very small, tiny nose. Or krihitny metallic, a tiny butterfly. Or krihitna komacha, a tiny insect, etc. Krihitny. So malay means small, but very small, tiny means krihitny. Opposite to it is veliki. Veliki. Veliki means big. Veliki budinok, big house, velika mašina, big car, velike misto, big city, etc. Also, we can say velika ljudina, great person, or velika osobistist, um, great personality. Okay? Veliki. Veliki. And something that's very big, giant, huge, is veletenski. Veletenski, veletenski, huge, very big. Or you can also say gigantski, gigantski, gigantski. Both of these words mean huge, giant, but veletenski comes from the um, authentic Ukrainian word, which means veleten, veleten, a giant, somebody very tall, very big. Veletensky or Hihansky, the word that was borrowed from another language, uh, and it also it comes from Hihant, also Veleten, giant, Hihant. So these are synonyms. Uh, you can use whichever one you want, the authentic or the borrowed one, and it will mean huge, very big, giant. For instance, Veletenska kniha, a huge giant book, or Hihansky cherevyke, a huge giant boots. Valetensky, Gigantsky. Next, Silny, Silny. Uh, silny means strong. We can say strong girl, Silna Divchena. We can say strong uh, personality or strong um, character, Silny character, Silna uh, Osobistist, strong personality, uh, etc. And opposite to it is Slabki. Slabki. Slabki means weak. For instance, slabka volya, weak will. Uh, or um, slabki ruke, weak hands. Slabki. Slabki means weak. Silni. Silni means strong. Next, tverdi. Tverdi. Tverdi means hard solid uh, for instance tverdi material solid material or tverdi character um, hard solid personality tverde slovo mm. like strong adamant word tverda pozitia strong adamant position okay tverdi tverdi hard solid adamant next miyaki Mjaki, mjaki means soft, mjaki. For instance, mjaka tkanina, a soft uh, fabric, or mjaki holos, soft voice. Mjaki, mjaki, soft, tvrdi, tvrdi, hard. Next, holodni, 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 I believe we did mention this adjective before, but that's okay. Uh, it's never harmful to revise. So, holodny means cold. Holodny den, cold day. Holodny dosht, cold rain. Or, holodny pohlad, a cold look in somebody's eyes. Holodny pohlad, or holodna vidpovid, cold um, answer. Next, harachi. 
Гарячий. Гарячий means hot. Uh, for instance, hot tea, гарячий чай, or hot борщ, гарячий борщ. Холодний, cold, and гарячий, hot. Next one is um, американський. Американський means American. For instance, американський прапор. Uh, American flag or американський студент, American student. Here, pay attention and be sure to not project this um, from English. Uh, to say I am an American, we don't say я американський. Okay? Американський is an adjective. To say American as a noun, we say Americanets, male. So I am Amer I am an American. We would say ya Americanets. If you are a male, or for female, it would be Americanka. Ya Americanka. I am American. So do not confuse Ukrainian adjective Americanski and noun Americanets. Okay. In English, they sound the same. In Ukrainian, it's different. Same goes for Evropejski. Evropejski. Evropejski means European. For instance, Evropejski Soyuz, European Union. Evropejska Kraina, European country. But to say that I am European, we would say ja Evropejec. We will use a noun. Or ja Evropejka. Another noun of feminine gender. Okay, but an adjective would be Evropejski, Evropejski. Next, Azijski, Azijski, Azijski means Asian. Again, don't confuse it with a noun. Use it as an adjective when you need to use an adjective Asian. For instance, Azijska tradicja, Asian tradition, or Azijska kraina, Asian country. Azijski region, Asian region, etc. Okay? Afrikanski, Afrikanski. Afrikanski means African. Again, Afrikanski continent, African continent. Afrikanski zwyczaj, African custom. Or Afrikanska tradicja, African tradition. Afrikanski student, African student. Australijski. Australijski. Australijski means Australian. Uh, for instance, Australijski predstavnik, Australian representative, or Australijski zakon, Australian law, or Australijski student, Australian student, or Australijska mate, Australian mother. Next, Ukrainski, Ukrainski, Ukrainian. Uh, for instance, Ukrainski wczytel. Um, Ukrainian teacher or Ukrainska wczytelka, Ukrainian female teacher, Ukrainska mowa, Ukrainian language, Ukrainska terytoria, Ukrainian territory, etc. Next, bezpeczny, 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 bezpeczny means safe. That is an adjective that comes from the word bezpeka. Bezpeka. Bezpeka means safety. So something that's safe is bezpeczny. Bezpeczny. Uh, for instance, bezpeczny prostir. Bezpeczny prostir. A safe space. Bezpeczna podróż. A safe journey or a safe trip. Bezpeczny. Bezpeczny. Opposite to uh, bezpeczny is nebezpeczny. Nebezpeczny. Nebezpeczny comes from nebezpeka, danger, and means dangerous. For instance, nebezpeczny polit. Nebezpeczny polit, um, a dangerous flight. Or a nebezpeczna mandrivka, a dangerous trip, dangerous journey. Or nebezpeczny woroch, a dangerous enemy. Okay, bezpeczny, nebezpeczny. Safe, dangerous. Next, zaspokijliwy. 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 Zaspokijliwy means soothing or calming. So we would say zaspokijliwy zasip or zaspokijliwy liki. Um, 
calm mean medicine. Some um, the medicine that makes you relax, that makes you calm down. The spokiliwy holos soothing voice, uh, or the spokiliwa piesnia a soothing song, etc. The spokiliwy. The spokiliwy comes from the noun spoki, uh, which means peace, calmness, etc. The spokiliwy. Next is Sviatkovy. Sviatkovy. Sviatkovy means festive. For instance, the Sviatkova Pisnia, a festive song, or Sviatkova Tradicia, a festive tradition, or Sviatkovy Vachir, a festive evening. Sviatkovy. 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 Next, let's talk about shapes here a little bit. Kruhly. Kruhly, kruhly comes from the um, noun kruh, which means circle. Okay, so kruhly means round. For instance, kruhly steel, round table, kruhly steel, or kruhle oblicha, a round face, kruhle oblicha, kruhly, kruhly means round. Next. Квадратный, 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 квадратный means square. For instance, квадратная картина, a square picture, or квадратное векно, a square window, or квадратный метр, a square meter. The next one is прямокутный, прямокутный. Прямокутный. Прямокутный means rectangular. For instance, прямокутна площа, rectangular square somewhere in the town. Or um, прямокутна форма, rectangular shape. Next, трикутный. Трикутный. Трикутный means triangular. Mm, for instance, the трикутный отвир, a triangular um, Hall or трикутни um, двери, a triangular door, for instance. Next, прямый, прямый, прямый means straight or direct. For instance, пряма линия, a straight line, or a пряме запитання, direct question, пряма відповідь, direct answer, etc. Um, next, зігнутий. Зігнутий. Зігнутий means bent. Okay? So, зігнута рука, bent arm. Or зігнуте коліно, bent um, knee. Зігнутий. Зігнутий. Uh, also, in a way, opposite to прямий is кривий. 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 Кривий means crooked. <coughs> For instance, uh, crooked nose would be кривий ніс. Кривий ніс. Uh, crooked line. Крива лінія. Крива лінія. Uh, крива дорога. Crooked road, for instance. Крива дорога. Кривий. 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 We have a um, town in Ukraine called Кривий Ріг. Uh, Кривий Ріг. Um, so basically crooked um, horn. Кривий Ріг. Uh, next, однаковий. Однаковий. Однаковий means identical. Uh, for instance, однаковий колір. Identical color. Or однаковий розмір. Identical size. Or однакова висота. Identical height. Однаковий. Однаковий means identical. Next, різний. Різний. Opposite to однаковий means different. For instance, різна довжина, different um, length. Or різні думки, different thoughts. Uh, різний, різний means different. And схожий, схожий means alike or similar. Схожий будинок, a similar house. Uh, схожа мова, a similar um, language, a language that sounds alike. Next one is Bleedy, bleedy, bleedy means pale. Uh, we can have a bleedy oblicha, a pale face, or bleedy color, a pale color. Bleedy, 
Блідий. Блідий means pale. Next, книжковий. Книжковий. Книжковий means book or bookish. Uh, as an adjective, obviously. Uh, so, книжкова полиця. Uh, book shelf. Uh, книжковий магазин. Book store. Or we can um, just use the word книгарня, which already means bookstore in Ukrainian. Книжковий. Книжковий. The next one is технічний. 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 Технічний means technical. For instance, технічний прогрес. Technical progress. Or технічний контроль. Technical control. Технічний. Технічний. Технічний means technical. Or technical university. Технічний університет. Next. Типовий. Типовий. Типовий means typical. For instance, типова ситуація, typical situation or a typical case. Or a типове запитання, a typical question. Типовий. Типовий. Next, справедливий. Справедливий. Справедливий means fair or just. For instance, справедливе рішення, a fair decision, or a справедливі батьки, fair parents, or справедливий суддя, a fair judge, справедливий, справедливий. Next, фантастичний, фантастичний, фантастичний means fantastic, for instance, фантастичний день, fantastic day, фантастичний. Or a fantastic book, фантастична книга. Фантастичний, фантастичний. Next, дивний, дивний. Дивний means strange, odd, weird. Дивний, for instance, дивний вчинок, an odd um, action. Or дивна людина, a strange person or a weird person. Or um, дивне рішення. Well, that's a weird decision. Дивний. Дивний. Next. Зручний. Зручний. Зручний means comfortable. Зручний. For instance, зручний будинок. A comfortable house. Or a зручний стілець. A comfortable chair. Or зручний стілець. A comfortable chair. Зручний. Зручний. Next, страшний. Страшний. Страшний means scary. For instance, страшний фільм, a scary movie. Or страшний звір, a scary beast. Страшний. Страшний. Or страшна правда, a scary truth. Страшний. Страшний. Next, смішний. Смішний. Смішний means funny. For instance, um, смішний жарт. A funny joke or смішний одяг, a funny clothes. Next one is новий. 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 Новий means new, for instance, нова машина or нова подруга, new car or new female friend or новий рік, new year, right? Happy new year з новим роком. Новий. Новий means new. Next, старий. Старий. Старий means old. For instance, старий дідусь, old grandpa. Uh, or старий друг, old friend. Старий. Старий. Uh, next, постійний. 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 Постійний means permanent. For instance, постійний графік. Permanent um, schedule. Постійний графік or постійний біль, permanent pain, постійний біль. Постійний, постійний means permanent. Next, тимчасовий, тимчасовий, opposite to permanent, temporary, тимчасовий. For instance, тимчасові зміни, uh, temporary uh, changes. Or um, тимчасові труднощі, um, temporary difficulties. Труднощі means difficulties. Тимчасовий, тимчасовий, тимчасовий. Next is давній, давній. 
Давний means ancient, very old, давний. For instance, давня історія, ancient history, or давня традиція, ancient tradition. Давній, давній. Next, свіжий, свіжий. Свіжий means fresh, for instance, uh, fresh juice, свіжий сік, or fresh vegetables. Свіжі овочі. Свіжі овочі. Свіжий means fresh. Свіжий. Next, гнилий. Гнилий. Гнилий means rotten. For instance, гниле яблуко. Rotten apple. Гниле дерево. Rotten tree. Гнилий. Гнилий. Next, зіпсований. 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 Зіпсований can either mean spoiled when we are talking about food, for instance, or mood. Uh, for instance, зіпсований суп, spoiled soup, uh, or uh, зіпсований настрій, spoiled mood, or зіпсований день, spoiled day, or rather ruined day, okay? Зіпсований день, uh, ruined day, like you can say to somebody, ти зіпсував мій день, you ruined my day. And now my day is ruined. Зіпсований день. І зараз мій день зіпсований. Next, мирний. Мирний. Мирний means peaceful. Uh, мирний атом, for instance, peaceful atom. Uh, мирний день, peaceful day. Мирні переговори, uh, peaceful negotiations. Мирний, мирний comes from the word мир, which means peace. Opposite to it is военный. Военный. Военный means military or war. Something that has to do with war. Uh, so, военна таемница, military secret. I'm not sure whether it's a, an appropriate translation. Uh, military secret. Something like secret information that has to do with military. Военна таемница. О, военна операция, military operation. Воєнний, воєнний means military. Next, товстий. Товстий, товстий means thick. For instance, товстий шар. Товстий шар means thick layer, right, of some material. Or um, let's say, товстий шар крему, a thick layer of cream in the cake, right? Or товста тканина, thick fabric. Or tovsta людина, thick, fat person, tovsti. Next is tonki, opposite to tovsti. Tonki, tonki means thin. Uh, thin uh, thread, tonka nitka. Also, uh, we can use tonki uh, when we are talking about somebody's sense of humor. Tonka počutia humoru, like thin... Um, like sharp sense of humor, uh, or tonkey jart, um, sharp, very on point joke, okay? Tonkey jart. Uh, but when we are talking about a person being skinny or thin, we say hudi. Uh, and that is an adjective from my previous video. Today we are focusing more on uh, inanimate object and abstract ideas. Next is dorohi. Дорогий. Дорогий can either mean expensive, literally, for instance, дорога квартира, an expensive apartment. But we can also use it figuratively to say dear, okay? Дорогий друг, dear friend. Дорогий. Дорогий. Next, opposite, дешевий. Дешевий. Дешевий means cheap. Uh, for instance, дешевий одяг, cheap clothing. Or дешева сумка, cheap handbag, okay? Uh, also, we can say дешева поведінка or дешевий шарт, something that's inappropriate, not good, a cheap joke, you know, not good. That somebody doesn't like spending money on things, right? Like, I'm so cheap, I don't um, spend much money. In Ukrainian, we don't say that. We don't say дешева людина uh, to say that the person is you know, greedy with money, doesn't like to spend much. Uh, we don't say that. To say thrifty, we would say oshchadlivy. Oshchadlivy, okay? 
but that's again about people about things uh, that don't cost much we say uh, cheap or about jokes that aren't good that aren't nice we would say cheap joke next vtomlenei v Tomlený. Tomlený means tired. For instance, vtomlený pohľad, a tired look in somebody's eyes. Or vtomlený student, a tired student, because he's been studying for the exam, okay? Vtomlený. Vtomlený. Next, badiory. Badiory, opposite to vtomlený, means energetic, lively, full of life, full of energy, ready to go. For instance, badiory tanec energetic dance or badyorei nasty lively energetic mood badyorei badyorei opposite to vtomlenei next tsikavy interesting tsikavy tsikavy uh, for instance interesting lesson tsikavy urok or tsikavy video interesting video or tsikavy zapytanya interesting question also, uh, to say fun fact in Ukrainian, we say цікавий факт. Цікавий факт. We don't say fun fact, uh, we say interesting fact, but that's... But the meaning is the same that for a uh, fun fact. Next, нудний. Нудний. Нудний, in a way, opposite to цікавий. Uh, нудний means boring. For instance, boring movie. A nudny film or boring presentation. Nudna presentacja. Next, szeroki. Szeroki. Szeroki means wide. Uh, for instance, wide street. Literally, szeroka wulica. The street that is wide. But also we can say, um, win ludyna szerokich pohledyw. Szeroki pohledy. Uh, which means that the person has um, wide outlook on life or is open-minded, okay? Szeroki pohľady or szeroka wulica. Next, wuzkiej. Wuzkiej means narrow, opposite to szerokiej. Wuzkiej. Wuzkiej. So, same can be applied here. We can say wuzkiej svitohľad, this very narrow outlook on life. Or we can say wuzkiej remin, for instance, narrow belt. Wuzkiej. Wuzkiej means narrow and it is opposite to szerokiej, which means wide. Next, mokry. 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 Mokry means wet. Uh, soaking wet. Mokry. Uh, for instance, mokre volosia. A soaking wet hair. Mokry rusznik. A soaking wet um, towel. Towel means rusznik. Next is Volohi. Volohi also means wet or damp. Uh, for instance, we can also say Volohe uh, Volosia. So Mokre Volosia is soaking wet, but Volohe is not that wet anymore. It's a bit damp. <clears throat> Volohi. Volohi. Volohi climate, damp climate. Or Voloha Bilizna, damp linen that needs drying. Okay. Volohi. Volohi means damp. Next, opposite to uh, volohi or mokri, suhi. Suhi. Suhi means dry. So, suhe volosia, dry hair. Um, suha shkira, dry skin. Or uh, suhe povitria, dry air. Or suha poverchnia, dry surface. Suhi. Suhi means dry and is opposite to mokri. Next, prijemni. Приємний. Приємний means pleasant. For instance, приємний голос. Приємний голос. Um, pleasant voice. Or приємне враження. Uh, pleasant impression. So somebody... Um, so, хтось справив на нас приємне враження. Somebody has made a pleasant impression on us. Приємний. Приємний. Приємний means pleasant. Next is унікальний. Унікальний. Унікальний sounds a bit similar. Трохи схоже. To its English equivalent. Unique. Унікальний means unique. For instance, унікальний талант. Unique talent. Унікальна форма. A unique shape. Унікальний. Унікальний. Next, 
оригінальний. Оригінальний. Оригінальний means original. For instance, оригінальний текст. Оригінал текст. Or оригінальна картина. Оригінал пікчер. Or оригінальна ідея. Оригінал ідея. Next is усний. Усний. Усний means oral. For instance, усний іспит. Oral exam. Or усна форма. For instance, усний. Відповідати в усній формі. To answer in oral form. To answer orally. Усна форма. So there is усна форма orally. And there is письмова форма. Письмова форма. Written form. In a written form. Also письмовий варіант. Письмовий варіант. Written version. Or письмовий стіл. Деск. Письмовий стіл. So basically desk for a table for writing. Письмовий стіл. So усний means oral and written means письмовий. Усний письмовий. Письмовий екзамен. Written exam. Усний екзамен. Oral exam. Next. Офіційний. Офіційний. Офіційний means official. For instance, офіційний документ. Official document. Офіційний дозвіл. Official permission. Офіційна позиція. Official position, etc. Next, загадковий. Загадковий. Загадковий means mysterious. For instance, загадковий погляд. Mysterious look. Or a mysterious action. Загадковий вчинок. Загадковий, загадковий. Next, майбутній. Майбутній. Майбутній means future. For instance, майбутня дружина, future wife. Or майбутній чоловік, future husband. Or майбутній час, future tense, grammatically speaking. Next, теперішній. Теперішній. Теперішній means present. Or something that we have nowadays. So, теперішній час, present tense. Or very often you can hear old people complaining about теперішня молодь, the youth nowadays, the modern youth, теперішня молодь. Теперішній means present. And next is минулий. Минулий. Минулий means past. For instance, минулий рік, past year or last year. Минулий can mean past or last. Минулий, минулий час, past tense, grammatically speaking. But минулий тиждень, last week, минулий тиждень. So again, майбутній, future, теперішній, present and минулий, past. Next, колишній. 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 Колишній means former or ex. For instance, колишній чоловік, ex-husband. Колишній президент, ex-president. Колишня робота, my former workplace. Колишній. Колишній. Next, спекотний. Спекотний. Спекотний means hot. We already learned the adjective гарячий. It also meant hot. But гарячий, we talk about water, about soup, things like that. But when we say спекотний, we talk about weather. For instance, спекотний день means a hot day. Or спекотна погода, hot weather. We don't say гаряча погода or гарячий день. We say спекотний. When we talk about weather. Next, дощовий. Дощовий. Дощовий means rainy. For instance, дощова осінь, rainy autumn. Дощовий туман, rainy fog, etc. Дощовий. Next, хмарний. Хмарний. Хмарний comes from the word хмара, which means cloud. So, хмарний means cloudy. For instance, хмарне небо, cloudy sky, хмарний день, cloudy day. Next, сонячний. 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 Сонячний means sunny, comes from сонце, which means sun. Сонячний. For instance, сонячне літо. Sunny summer or сонячна погода. Sunny weather. Сонячний день. Sunny day. Next, відкритий. 
відкритий. Відкритий means open, for instance, відкритий будинок, open house, відкрите вікно, open window. Закритий is opposite to відкритий and means closed. Closed. Закритий. Закритий. For instance, закриті двері. Закрита книга. Closed door. Closed book. Відкритий. Open. Закритий. Closed. Next. Перший. Перший. Перший means first. Перший крок. First step. Перша спроба. First try. Перший. Перший. Середній, середній, середній means medium or average, for instance, середній показник, середній показник, meaning average number, or середній брат, medium brother, out of three, the brother number two, the one that's between the first and the last brother, середній. Середній, середній, середня температура, medium temperature, etc. Останній, останній, останній means last, for instance, останній шанс, the last chance. Останній день, the last day of summer, for instance, останній день літа, останній день зими, the last winter day. Last, останній, останній. Next. Спонтанний, спонтанний, спонтанний means spontaneous, for instance, спонтанне рішення, spontaneous decision, or спонтанний крок, a spontaneous step. Спонтанний, спонтанний, next is точний, точний, точний means exact or precise, for instance, точна вага, the exact weight. Точний розмір, the exact size. Точний, точний. Next is приблизний. Приблизний, opposite to точний, and means approximate. Приблизний. For instance, approximate route or itinerary. Approximate route. Приблизний маршрут. Or a приблизний план, approximate plan. Or, for instance, у мене є лише приблизні цифри. Приблизні цифри. I only have the approximate numbers. I don't have the exact ones. Okay? Приблизні цифри. So, точний and opposite is приблизний. Next, додатковий. Додатковий. Додатковий means additional. For instance, additional time. Додатковий час. Or um, додаткові знання, additional knowledge, додатковий, додатковий, next, позитивний, позитивний, позитивний means positive, uh, for instance, позитивний настрій, positive mood, or позитивний результат, positive result. Uh, uh, here again, in English, some people say I'm positive about something, so I strongly believe something, I'm sure of something. Uh, in Ukrainian, we don't say that. We don't say я позитивний, meaning that I believe in something, I know something for sure. No, that's not the case. So it is not the meaning that we put into the word positive here in Ukraine. Positive just as an opposite to negative. And negative means негативний. 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 Негативний результат. Negative result. Or негативні думки, negative thoughts, or негативний настрій, negative mood, or негативна відповідь, negative answer, etc. Next, культурний. Культурний, культурний means cultural. Cultural. For instance, культурний розвиток, cultural progress. Also, in Ukrainian, we sometimes can use cultural or the word культурний to describe a person that is polite. For instance, культурна людина, a polite person. The synonym in this case would be вічлива, right? Вічлива людина. Next, єдиний, єдиний means the only something, for instance, єдиний шанс, only chance. Це мій єдиний шанс, this is my only chance to get this job, отримати цю роботу. Only, 
means єдиний. Єдиний родич. Це мій єдиний родич. This is my only relative. Єдиний. Єдиний. Next, історичний. Історичний means historical. For instance, historical knowledge, історичні знання, or historical science, історична наука, or historical faculty, історичний факультет, etc. Next, економічний. Економічний. Економічний means economical. Also, економічний університет, economical university, or економічний прогрес, economical progress, etc. Економічна політика, maybe, economic policy. Next, іноземний. Іноземний means foreign. Іноземний. Іноземний. For instance, іноземний турист, a foreign tourist. Іноземний студент, a foreign student. Іноземна література, a foreign literature, etc. Next, нормальний. Нормальний, easy to guess, normal. Нормальний. For instance, нормальна дівчина. Normal girl. Нормальний будинок. Normal house. Нормальне місто. Normal city, etc. Next, архітектурний. Архітектурний, again, easy to guess. Architectural. For instance, архітектурний стиль. Architectural style. Архітектурний факультет. Architectural. Architectural faculty. Next, навчальний. Навчальний. Навчальний means educational. For instance, навчальний процес. Educational process. Or навчальний матеріал. Educational materials. Навчальна програма. Educational program. Next, державний. Державний. Державний means state. It comes from держава. A noun. Держава means state. So, for instance, державний прапор. State flag, державний університет, state university, державний, державний, next, спортивний, спортивний means sport, for instance, спортивні змагання, sport competition, or спортивна форма, sport clothing, sport attire, спортивні знаряддя, sport equipment, next, таємний, Таємний means a secret, hidden. Таємний, for instance, таємне життя, a secret life, a hidden life. Таємний вчинок, a secret action. Also, we have a word секретний, секретний, which also means secret. For instance, секретні двері, a secret door, or a secret card, a секретний код. Next, public. Public means публічний. Публічний, for instance, публічна бібліотека, public library, or публічне місце, public place. Публічний, публічний. Next, чистий. Чистий, чистий means clean. For instance, clean house, чистий будинок. Чистий посуд, clean dishes. Чистий, чистий. Next, opposite to чистий is брудний. Брудний. Брудний means dirty. For instance, брудна куртка. Dirty jacket. Брудні кросівки. Dirty sneakers. Брудний. Брудний. Next, затишний. Затишний. Затишний means cozy. For instance, затишна спальня. Cozy bedroom. Затишна кухня, maybe. Cozy kitchen. Затишна атмосфера. Cozy atmosphere. Затишний. Затишний. Next. Стабільний. Стабільний. Стабільний means stable. For instance, стабільний прибуток. Stable profit. Or стабільна робота. Stable job. Or to say unstable, we would just say нестабільний. Нестабільний. Unstable. Next. Мінливий. Мінливий. Мінливий means variable, changeable. Мінливий. For instance, мінливі обставини, changeable circumstances. Обставини means circumstances. One circumstance, обставина. Мінливі обставини or мінливий настрій, changeable mood. Мінливий, мінливий. Next, мінімальний, мінімальний. Again, very easy to guess, minimal. So, мінімальна зарплата, minimal 
wage or minimalni vymohy minimal demands opposite is maximalny maximalny maximal uh, for instance maximalna shvitkist maximal speed or maximalna temperatura maximal temperature or maximalni zusilia maximal effort etc next zrozumili Zro, zu, mili, zrozumili means clear, understandable. For instance, zrozumile slovo, understandable word, the word that's easy to understand. Zrozumili text, um, understandable text. Zrozumila mova, understandable language. Next, tili, tili, tili means whole. For instance, tili tishden, uh, whole week, uh, tili rik whole year, tili den, whole day. Next, ritkei, ritkei means liquid. So, ritkei metal, liquid metal. Ritke dobrevo, liquid fertilizer, etc. Ritkei, ritkei. Next, hustei, opposite to ritkei means thick, dense. That's when we talk about some sort of uh, substance, okay? Huste tisto, thick or dense, da. Or, um, who stay text for instance dance text uh, next uh also means dance or tight uh, for instance um text or a graphic tight schedule don't have much time have very dense very tight schedule schilny graphic no free time at all next pomitny Pomitny. Pomitny means noticeable. Uh, for instance, pomitny rozmir, noticeable size, or pomitny zmine, noticeable changes, or pomitna vtoma, noticeable um, tiredness. Pomitny. Pomitny. Next, tisny. Tisny. Tisny means tight. Uh, for instance, tisni jeans, tight jeans, or tisni tufli, the shoes that are too small for us, too tight. Tisni tufli, or sometimes we can say tisni sweet, tisni sweet, tight world, to say, wow, the world is small, I didn't expect to see you here. Tisni sweet. Tisni uh, means tight. Next, prostory. Prostory. Prostory means spacious. For instance, prostora kimnata, prostory zal. Next, malovnichi. Malovnichi. Malovnichi means picturesque. For instance, malovnicha kartina. Oh, oh, let's, let's change it to malovnicha fotografia, picturesque photo. Because picturesque picture sounds a bit weird to me. Uh, next, um, a picturesque landscape, malovnichi paisage, malovnichi vid, a picturesque view, malovnichi, malovnichi. Next, škidlivý, škidlivý, škidlivý comes from the uh, word škoda, which means harm. So škidlivý means harmful, something that is causing harm. For instance, škidlivá zvyčka. Škidlivá zvyčka. Harmful habit. So uh, sometimes um, during the interview you could be asked whether you have um, škidlivý zvyčky. U vás je škidlivý zvyčky. So basically they are asking whether you are smoking or abusing alcohol or other substances. Škidlivý zvyčky. Škidlivá jíža. Junk food. Harmful food. The food that's not useful. Škidlivý. 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 And opposite to it is korisný. Korisný. Korisný means useful. Korisná strava. A useful dish. Uh, korisný ovoč, for instance. Um, useful vegetable. Healthy vegetable. Healthy dish. Okay. Uh, korisná informácia. Useful information. Škidlivý means harmful. And opposite to it is korisný. Useful. Next, jakisny. Jakisny. Jakisny comes from the word jakist, which means quality. So if we say that something is jakisny, we mean that it is high quality. For instance, jakisny odjak, high quality clothing, or jakisny service, quality service. Next, ritkisny. Ritkisny. 
Ридкісний means rare. For instance, рідкісний метал. Rare metal. Metal. Um, or рідкісний випадок. Rare case. Rare incident. Рідкісний. Рідкісний. Next, звичайний. Звичайний. Звичайний means usual. Uh, for instance, звичайний графік. Це мій звичайний графік. This is my usual schedule. Or um, звичайний день. A usual day. Це був звичайний день. It was a usual day. A normal day. Nothing special. Звичайний. Next, абстрактний. 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 Uh, means abstract, obviously. So, абстрактне поняття. An abstract Uh, concept or abstractna idea, an abstract idea, abstractny. Next is idealny, idealny, idealny means ideal, perfect. Uh, for instance, idealny stan, perfect condition. Very often when we are buying or selling something secondhand, uh, we would write in our um, advertisement that The condition is perfect. It's in perfect condition. I almost never used it. Idealny stan. Idealny automobil. This car is perfect. Idealny automobil. Perfect car. Uh, Idealny means ideal or perfect. Next, головny. 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 Main. Uh, for instance, головна проблема. Main problem. Головна тема. The main topic or the main subject. Uh, also, when we are reading books, there usually be a protagonist. Головний герой or antagonist. Головний герой means main character. Okay? Головний. Головний. Next, вакцинований. Quite a relevant um, Adjective, вакцинований means vaccinated. For instance, вакцинована людина. Вакцинована людина or вакцинований пацієнт. Вакцинований пацієнт, vaccinated patient. Вакцинований. Next, медичний. Медичний. Медичний means medical. For instance, медичний університет. Medical university. Medical university. Медична установа. Medical institution. Медичний. Медичний. Next is кепський. Кепський. Кепський means bad, poor, nasty. Uh, for instance, кепський настрій. Bad mood. Uh, or кепська справа. Like the case is bad. Like the case is hopeless. Кепські справи. Or um, кепська поведінка. Bad behavior. Кепський. Кепський. Next is жахливий. Жахливий. Жахливий means horrible. It comes from the uh, word жах, which literally means horror in Ukrainian. So a horror movie would be film жахів. Or just slangish жахастик. So жахливий means horrible. Uh, for instance, жахливий вчинок, a horrible action. Or a horrible deed. Or um, жахливе почуття, horrible feeling. Okay, жахливий, жахливий. Next is спокійний, спокійний, спокійний. Спокійний means calm. For instance, спокійна ніч, a calm night. Спокійний сон, a calm sleep. Спокійний. Next, opposite, тривожний, тривожний. Тривожний comes from тривога, anxiety. So, тривожний means anxious. For instance, тривожний стан, anxious condition or state of mind. Uh, or тривожний настрій, anxious mood. Тривожний. Next, правильний. Правильний. Correct. Uh, for instance, правильна відповідь, correct answer. Or правильний вчинок, correct action or correct deed. Then if you just want to say incorrect, you can say неправильний. Okay? Uh, incorrect answer, неправильна відповідь. Or um, неправильний вчинок, wrong, um, incorrect action. But if you want to emphasize that the mistake was made, uh, you would use adjective помилковий. 
Pomilkovy. Pomilkovy comes from the noun pomilka, which means mistake, okay, or error. So if something is erroneous or wrong, we can say pomilkovy. So we can just say nepravilny, it will mean wrong, and we can say pomilkovy, it will also mean wrong, but will emphasize that there was a mistake. Uh, for instance, pomilkovy krok, uh, um, erroneous or a wrong step, or pomilkovy uh, rishenia, a wrong decision, a decision that was a mistake. Uh, next, bliskuchi, bliskuchi, bliskuchi. Here also we can have literally uh, the one meaning and figuratively another one. So literally, it means shiny. For instance, bliskucha moneta, a shiny coin or um okulare, I don't know, like shiny sunglasses. But uh, when we say a uh, about some abstract idea or about something, uh, then uh, we mean amazing, wonderful, great. Uh, for instance, bliskuchi uh, vystup, an amazing uh, performance or amazing speech, uh, bliskucha promova, something that was bright, that made bright expression, that was uh, very well done, bliskuchi, bliskuchi. Next, neperevershenny, neperevershenny, neperevershenny means unsurpassed or unbeatable, also very nice, very amazing something that's that nobody else can beat uh, for instance neperevershena promova unbeatable speech very nice very well done wonderful amazing uh, or neperevershenei vyhled uh, for instance a way to make a compliment in ukrainian mayesh neperevershenei vyhled you look wonderful you look unbeatable nobody can touch this Neperevershenny. Next, nepovtorny. 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 Nepovtorny means inimitable, unique, also very well. Something that nobody else can imitate. Somebody that nobody. Something that nobody else can do as well as you did it, right? For instance, nepovtorny tanec, um, an inimitable, a unique, a wonderful dance, or nepovtorne počutia, uh, a unique feeling, nepovtorny, nepovtorny. Next, dotepny, do Dotepny. Dotepny means witty. For instance, dotepny shart, a witty joke. Or dotepna divchena, a witty girl. Dotepny. Dotepny. Uh, next, vytončeny. Vytončeny. Vytončeny means elegant, delicate, sophisticated, I would say. Vytončeny smak, um, very elegant or um, sophisticated taste. Or... Um, Vytončený styl, a very elegant, delicate style, or vytončená suknia, a delicate dress. Uh, next, bezdohanný, bezdohanný, bezdohanný also means impeccable, flawless, perfect, things like that. Bezdohanný, bezdohanný, for instance, bezdohanné vykonania, impeccable, beautiful, flawless performance. Or bezdohanný spiv, flawless singing, something that was done very well, flawless, spotless. Bezcínný, bezcínný, bezcínný. Uh, if we break it down, we will see the prefix bez, which means without, and cínný. Cínný comes from the word cína, price, okay? So bez. Cinny means something that has no price, priceless, okay? For instance, bestinny moment, priceless moment, or bestinny spohat, priceless um, memory, bestinny, bestinny. Next, roskishny, roskishny, roskishny means gorgeous. For instance, roskishny automobile, gorgeous car, or a roskishna zachiska, gorgeous um, hairdo. 
Розкішна, розкішна сукня. A gorgeous dress. Uh, next, досконалий. Досконалий. Досконалий means perfect. Flawless. Uh, for instance, досконала картина. Uh, досконала картина. A perfect picture. Досконала скульптура. A perfect sculpture. Досконала презентація. A perfect Amazing, very well done presentation. Досконалий. Досконалий. Next, зворушливий. Зворушливий. Зворушливий comes from ворушити, to move. So, if something is зворушливий, it's moving, it's touching, it's, it's making you emotional, right? Зворушливий. Uh, for instance, зворушливий момент. Це був дуже зворушливий момент. It was a very touching moment. Or зворушливий вчинок. Um, a very touching or moving action thing to do. Зворушливий. Next. Феноменальний. Феноменальний. Феноменальний means phenomenal. Like nobody else's, right? Uh, for instance, феноменальна пам'ять. A phenomenal memory. Like the person literally remembers everything. Or phenomenalny talent, phenomenal talent, phenomenalny. Next, vdali. Vdali means successful. But then again, if we are talking about a thing, not a person, okay? Uh, successful person would be uspishna ljudina. Again, I'm sending you to my previous video about people. But в Дали um, we talk about something, some project, something that was successful. For instance, в Дала спроба, a successful try, or в Дали проект, uh, a successful project. Also, I had an idea. If you still haven't written a comment for me uh, under this video, you can choose um, the adjective that you liked the most or the adjective that you were the most excited to learn. So if there is an adjective like that, do let me know in the comments. I will really appreciate. Next, trivali. Trivali. Trivali means long, extended in time, right? Trivala robota. Uh, an extended and long time work. Or trivala vitpustka. A long vacation or trivali project a long extended in time project trivali 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 process a process that lasts right trivali process next bliski 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 means near or intimate bliski also means close uh, bliska людина, a close person, bliski друг, a close friend, a bliska podruha, a close female friend, bliski, and opposite to it is daleki, far, bliski, close, daleki, far, for instance, daleki rodic, a far relative, like a relative from the very extended family, um, daleke miste, це дуже daleke miste, that's a very far away place, Right, daleke miste, bliski, and opposite, daleki. Next, žinoči. Žinoči, žinoči means women um, as an adjective. Uh, for instance, žinoči odjah, female uh, feminine clothing, or um, žinoči toilet, feminine female restroom, or um, Let's say grammatically, uh, there is a grammatical category of uh, gender uh, in Ukrainian. So, жіночий рід means female gender. Іменник жіночого роду will mean a noun of uh, female gender, feminine gender. Next, opposite, чоловічий. Чоловічий. Чоловічий means man as an adjective. So, чоловіча вбиральня. A man's changing room or чоловічий колектив, um, men um, group of people uh, or чоловічий рід, um, masculine gender, etc. So чоловічий either mean men or masculine, uh, while жіночий means uh, women or feminine. Next, весняний, 
весняний means spring, for instance, весняний місяць, spring month, or весняна сукня, a spring dress. Next, літній, літній, літній means summer, for instance, літня відпустка, summer vacation, or літній смуток, there is this song, summertime sadness, right, літній смуток, summer sadness, смуток means sadness. Um, next, осінній. Осінній means fall or autumn. Uh, for instance, осінній дощ, um, autumn rain, or осінній холод, autumn cold. Uh, autumn month, осінній місяць. Um, next, зимовий. Зимовий. Зимовий means winter. Uh, for instance, um, зимовий ранок, winter morning, or зимове свято, winter um, holiday. Зимовий. Next, шкільний. Шкільний. Шкільний means school as an adjective. Uh, again, шкільний автобус, uh, school bus, шкільний підручник, school uh, textbook, etc. Шкільний. Шкільний comes from the word школа, school. Next, дитячий. Дитячий. Дитячий means children's. For instance, дитячий магазин or um, children's shop or children's store. Or дитяча книга, children's book. Or дитячий садок, kindergarten. Or we will just say дитсадок. Дит, shortcut for дитячий. Дитсадок. Дитячий садок, kindergarten. Next, доречний. Доречний. Доречний means relevant and also appropriate, I would say. Uh, sometimes the meaning could be like that. So, доречне висловлювання, for instance, a relevant or appropriate say. Appropriate for the occasion, in time for the occasion, relevant. Um, or доречна ремарка. Доречна ремарка, a relevant remark. Next, глибокий. Глибокий. Глибокий means deep. And deep uh, can have two meanings, uh, literal and figural. So literally, глибокий, deep. Uh, for instance, глибока річка, a deep uh, river. Or глибоке озеро, a deep um, lake. But also we can say deep thought. Um, глибока думка or глибока людина a deep person, deep personality right? Um, глибока особистість, deep personality and opposite to глибокий is мілкий мілкий and it means shallow but we don't say мілка людина okay? uh, we don't have this figurative meaning for that we only mean shallow um, literally uh, for instance um, Milka ozero, shallow lake, or milka tarilka, shallow um, plate, something that's not deep. Next, protilezhnei, protilezhnei, protilezhnei means opposite. For instance, protilezhnei big, opposite side. Uh, Protilezhnei pohľad, opposite view, uh, point of view, right? Uh, Protilezhna dumka, opposite thought, the thought that uh, contradicts. This other thought. Protilezhnei. Protilezhnei. Next, parallelnei. Parallelnei means parallel. Easy to guess. Parallelnei. Uh, for instance, parallel street. Parallelna vulitsya. Or parallelna linia. Parallel line. Or a parallel a world. Parallelnei svit. Parallel universe. Uh, next, realnei. Realnei. Реальний, for instance, реальний світ, real world, uh, ласкаво просимо до реального світу, right? Welcome to the real world. Реальна річ, real thing, etc. Реальний, реальний. Next, релігійний. Релігійний. Релігійний means religious. Uh, for instance, релігійний діяч, a religious leader. О релігійне вірування, religious belief. Релігійний, релігійний. Next, політичний, політичний, political. Політична партія, political party. Політична думка, political thought or point of view. 
політичний. Next, сумнівний. Сумнівний. Сумнівний means dubious. Uh, for instance, сумнівна справа, dubious case, or сумнівна ситуація, dubious situation, or сумнівне рішення, dubious decision, dubious, сумнівний, сумнівний. Next, гнучкий, гнучкий. Гнучкий means flexible. So we can say flexible um, schedule, гнучкий графік. Or we can say гнучка людина, literally a person who is good at exercise that needs flexibility, right? Flexible person, a person who has a flexible body. But we also can say a flexible behavior, a гнучка поведінка. So that of a person who is ready to compromise and to listen to other people and behave in a way that everybody is more or less satisfied. Гнучки. Гнучкий. Uh, next is інший. Інший. Інший means different. For instance, інший день. A different day. Інша людина. Um, different person. Or інша книга. Different book. Інший. Інший. Next, важливий. Важливий. Важливий means important. Uh, for instance, важливе запитання. Дякую, це важливе запитання. Thank you, that's an important question. Важлива річ, an important thing. Um, важливий, важливий, важлива людина, an important person. Next, особливий. Особливий, особливий means special. For instance, особливий друг, a special friend. Or особлива людина, a special person. Or особлива подія, a special occasion or a special event. Or a special event, особливий, особливий. And now we are finally almost done, the last slide, yay. I hope you are still watching. So next one is закордонний, закордонний, закордонний means foreign or overseas. Uh, Закордонний uh, comes from the word кордон. Кордон. Кордон means border, right? So the country has its borders and everything that's from the other side of the border is foreign or overseas. For instance, закордонний гість. Закордонний гість. Mm, uh, foreign um, guest. Or закордонний паспорт, закордонний паспорт, a foreign passport. Uh, so in Ukraine, I don't know how it is in other countries, uh, but in Ukraine, everybody who reaches the age of 17 years, I think, or 16, I'm not sure right now, I guess it's 17, receives a passport of a citizen of Ukraine, right? So everybody in Ukraine has this um, citizen's passport who is of age. Uh, but a foreign passport, закордонний паспорт, um, you should make by yourself, it's not given to you. Uh, you should make it by yourself if you want to travel abroad. Some people uh, in Ukraine, many people in Ukraine never been abroad, never travel abroad, so they don't even have this uh, закордонний паспорт. Okay, uh, next one is прибутковий. Прибутковий. Прибутковий comes from прибуток, which means profit. So прибутковий means profitable. Uh, for instance, прибуткова організація, a profitable organization, a profitable um, establishment or institution, right? Or um, прибуткова поїздка, a profitable um, trip. Прибутковий. Прибутковий. Next, opposite to прибутковий is збитковий. Збитковий. Збитковий means unprofitable. Uh, for instance, збиткове рішення, an unprofitable um, decision. Збитковий бізнес, uh, an unprofitable business. The business that does not bring profit. Next, повний. Повний. Повний means full. For instance, повна склянка, a full glass, or повна ложка, a full spoon, uh, or a повний робочий день, a full work day. Uh, full means повний, повний, 
Povny. Also, we can use uh, an adjective povny to uh, talk about a person who is uh, plump, who is on, of bigger size. Povna ludina. Okay. And next, porožni. Porožni. Porožni means empty. Opposite to povny, right? Porožnia uh, čaška. An empty mug or an empty cup. Uh, Porožnia tarilka, an empty plate. But also we can say porožnia holova, empty head, to say that somebody is not very smart. Porožnia holova. Uh, porožni. Porožni is opposite to povny and means empty. Next, nadijny. Nadijny. Nadijny means reliable. Uh, for instance, nadijny druh, reliable friend. Or a nadijny підприємець, reliable entrepreneur, some, somebody you can trust and make business with, right? A reliable partner, um, nadijny partner. Uh, and uh, also we have bez nadijny, bez nadijny. If you uh, watch this video carefully, you would notice that the prefix bez um, means without, right? So bez nadijny means something without hope, something we don't have much hopes about, right? Hopeless. Uh, so, for instance, hopeless case, beznadijna sprava, that's hopeless case, forget it, zabudite, beznadijna sprava. Or beznadijna ljudina, a person to whom we've given a number of chances, but they always let us down. Hopeless person, beznadijna ljudina, somebody you cannot rely on. Uh, next, možljivý, možljivý. Možlivý. Možlivý means possible. Uh, so, možlivý variant, a possible option, or možlivý spôsob, a possible way of doing something. Možlivý pribútok, a possible profit, etc. Uh, možlivý. Možlivý comes from možlivýst, possibility. Možlivý. Next, včasný. Včasný means opportune on time. Um, for instance, včasný dzvinok, the call that's on time, uh, or včasná pojava, an, an appearance that's on time. And the last one for today is vypadkový, vypadkový, vypadkový means random or accidental, accidental. Uh, for instance, vypadkova zustrič, an accidental meeting, uh, or um, vypadkový nomer, a random number, uh, vypadkové slovo, a random word, etc. Okay, so that's it. These were the 240 Ukrainian adjectives that I wanted to talk to you about. Hopefully you didn't forget to write me a comment. I hope you did, don't mind me asking for several times, but it really um, matters for me. I would really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with other people who you think uh, will find it useful or a thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye.